Okay, hello there. So we're going to look at what is coming for you. Um, sounds very ominous, doesn't it? <laughs> we're just going to look at the rest of the year. So what can you expect for the rest of this year? Um, and um, yeah, I've got high hopes here. October has been a big, big month of change and transition for so many people. Um, so I would like to see here how that progresses for everybody. So we've got pile number one, pile number two, pile number three. One, two, three. Try to go with your first impression. If you can't, and there's more than one number that's kind of jumping out at your pile, you know, that's absolutely fine. There could be messages for you from each one of those. So let's move those up here. And we're going to start with pile number one here. Let's see what we've got. So I'm using the Egyptian, or the, sorry, not the Egyptian, the Cleopatra tarot today. Um, let's see what we have. Oh, wow. Okay, so the Age of Light is coming. Wow, look, look how marshmallowy that looks there for you. <laughs> Why is it coming out like that? That's so cool, though. Um, you've been training for this for lifetimes. So you've got amazing things coming in for you. I feel like this um, October, if, it's, if this year has felt very tough for you and you've been doing a lot of um, kind of resting or it feels like trudging water or it feels like i don't know what direction to go in i feel like there's a lot of confusion that has been happening for you this year so far 2023 but um as we get past october here you're gonna see changes massive changes you've got big big things coming for you um and pretty much what you're starting to do now, if anything you have already started, especially you know in October or around October, this is what you are meant to be doing. I feel with this also, I'm hearing a major shift. So whatever you have been told in the past about your destination, your journey, what your life's mission is and all of that stuff, if whatever you've been told that, I feel like that is changing. You are completely shifting into a new realm, a new reality. So we have here four of wands, yeah, concentrating on the home, on success, on stability. For some of you, you could well be moving, but we've got big celebration energy coming in for you, um, you know, before the end of 2023. It could be some of you are getting married, you know, or you're getting proposed to, but we've got lots and lots going on there. Justice, yeah, this is a balancing energy. This is a karmic energy. You are getting um, all things as you should. That's how I wanted to say it. Um, so everything that's coming to you, this is meant for you. Don't yeah, I'm feeling like there's a lot of blockages for some of you around money and finances. And you may, be, you may be thinking, no, no, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. You may think that you're ready, but some of you have been dealing with some major blockages um, in the past. And would just need to clear away those final kind of um, hurdles. Now, those are energetic hurdles. Um, for whatever reason, they're there. They, they are there. We might do a, a separate reading on money blockages and how you can how you can fix that because I well, actually do have a video on that on my channel. So if you want more information, um, go to my channel. Um, I'll try and link it in the pinned comments um, if I remember. Um, but yeah, everybody's reasons for money blockages are different. Everyone will have a different fix for that. Oh, we've got communication coming your way. Mm. We've got, yeah, a move, some sort of move. We do have overcoming obstacles here with that chariot. Um, mm -mm -mm. For some of you, there could be some travel involved or making some travel plans here. 
we've got new cycles beginning for you your the old you is definitely going is definitely gone so we have new 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 we've got celebration in work collaboration um we've also got a sort of a reuniting energy so for some of you here if you've been in separation with your, from your twin um, or separation from your soulmates because that does happen also we do have a reuniting um, somebody is returning we've got ten of wands energy but this to me feels very positive um, mm, I want to say here we've got Aries energy we've got Sagittarius energy it to me it also looks a bit Capricorn But we have here, the universe is literally opening up new portals and doorways for you. So if you want to, you know, I think regardless of what action you take, you are definitely shifting. Um, you're elevating, you're changing gears completely. So you're moving from this timeline into another timeline. Well, yeah, High Priestess. So you're really embracing your gifts um, and coming into your own. So if you've been kind of shying away from your talents, things that you kept hidden, now is the time to push yourself forward in those areas. Um, just looking at these cards as well, you could say for some of you here, you are getting your greatest dream or your greatest gift. That's how my guides have put it to me. You're getting your greatest gift here before the end of the year. So if some of you are wanting to get pregnant, for example, we have that coming in for you. Um, if some of you are wanting to get married, that's coming in. There's not too much around work and career here because I feel as though it's not really work when you're doing something you're supposed to be doing, when you're doing something that you love. So a big, big emphasis on you being you, being your authentic self, being gorgeous, being amazing, and doing, you know, aligning with your pathway. But I wanna say it's a new pathway, it's a different pathway. You could well have been having a lot of dreams about this recently, you know, anything connected with travel, um, anything connected with house hunting, those are all signs there that you are shifting and you're about to enter a different, different reality so my darling thank you pile one i will leave that with you pile number two hello welcome let's see what you guys have got <laughs> oh okay the ever unfolding rose i'm not I'm not a little bit better no no that's a bit better. So the ever unfolding rose. Here we go. So what they want you to know that right now it's happening for you. It's not happening to you. So what they mean by that is that if things are going a little bit askew, they're going a bit wrong, don't worry. Um, this is a time for putting you on the right pathway, it's for aligning you, it's for making sure you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing. So if you're trying and trying your best at something right now and it's not really working out for you, you're not really seeing any results or you just seem to encounter a lot of blockages, etc. They're saying that's not for right now, okay? Um, you know, especially if you're finding that things are starting to go wrong around the, the house, you know, you could have appliances breaking down um, or they just don't seem to work for you but they work fine for other people you know whatever that might be um, that these are all signs here and signals that it's time to sort of just don't push yourself do what you're doing and things will kind of um, work out here for you so we've got the hanged man yeah stay still don't do anything um, now that's not going to be forever <laughs> <laughs> but they're saying, you know, if you are trying to start something, like you're trying to start a new business or you're trying to change jobs or you want to write something, whatever it might be, the thing, don't do it just yet. Don't push it. If it's coming in, do it. Just wait for that inspiration and then do it. Don't just try and make it happen, okay? Uh, the same thing with relationships. If you're looking for relationships, um, or a relationship, don't try and force it because that's the wrong way to do it. 
we've got the King of Swords here is going to be appearing for you. Now this is air sign energy, so that is Libra, it's Aquarius, it's Gemini. Um, this person just here, they are, they can seem a little bit stern, but we've got authoritarian energy with them. Eight of Swords, more air sign energy. Look at that. So we've got confusion. Yeah, this person is bringing in a lot of confusion. I think that's why they're saying don't take any action, especially if it's with regards to a, a person, an individual. Oh my gosh, more swords, ten of swords. Look at this. Hmm, why is the ten of swords here, please? Why is the ten of swords here, please? Right. I want to say here, be careful not to fall in love too quickly with um with this individual, this King of Swords here, they're quite sort of engaging, very romantic energy actually, but try not to fall in love too quickly with this person. Um, I feel like it is a new person, I will just say that. This is somebody that is appearing, they could just sort of pop up in your DMs or something. Yeah, Two of Swords, we've got more sword energy for you. It's all about the swords. Now, whenever we see this, this is a time for you to pay attention to communication. Now, what I mean with that is it's not just what people are saying. You need to pay attention to what people are doing, how they are behaving towards you and how they behave towards other people. Um, there may well be a lot of clues, hints there that what they are actually like that for you they put on this um this facade this best foot forward kind of energy and then around other people they are completely different so it's not that they're opening up and they're letting you see this sort of nice side to them or the real them what you're actually getting is a false side of them and they are telling you you're just not seeing it because you're in queen of cups energy so be aware okay um right queen of wands as well she's come out mm -mm -mm. we love the queen of wands now this is you finding a new confidence before the end of the year i feel like um in the way that you speak in the way that you deal with people definitely coming across uh, a lot more uh, self-assured you know within yourself as well um what you can achieve what you can do and that is now starting to come across to other people we've got take your time here okay it's all working in divine timing like with the oracle at the start there we want this one in the, oh we've got two here or three we have the world part one had the world as well so we have new beginnings coming in for you but i don't i feel like they may start um after the new year so when we're quite into the new year that's when you're going to be feeling the effects. Um, you're really sort of running down to the wire here with this, this transition energy, but that's okay. Everybody happens uh, upon this in a different timing. Yeah, the knave of wands here. I think part one might have had this as well. So we've got good communication coming your way. Well, we have major success coming in and abundance, but again, I feel like it's coming towards the end of the year. So you may not see much in the way of improvements and changes between now and say the end of December. So you want to be careful with your money. You want to be careful with what you're spending on um, and um, uh yeah, make sure you are stocking up on things because, you know, if you need to stock up, you need to stock up so that you've, you've got plenty of resources. So resources, oh, Lola, speak properly. <laughs> so because we've got that abundance coming in towards the end of the year, I am getting December quite strongly. It's going to be maybe after Christmas. You've got hermit energy here as well. You could well be, uh, if, you're, if you know a Virgo, if you're with a Virgo, we've got Virgo energy coming on strong. Take some lessons from them. They are there to help you. Um, you know, the, I wouldn't say do exactly what they're doing, but they're very clever when it comes to things like um, management, business, spending, saving, um, you know, and all of those things. So if they're being a little bit frivolous, uh, because they're very in the moment kind of sign and they always 
um, they always think about the future. Um, so although they like to think they're very practical and grounded, sometimes they're so grounded in the moment that they can't actually see too far ahead. They can't appreciate what tomorrow is going to be or next week or five years time. For them, five years is like, oh, it's going to happen eventually, but, well, I, you know, I might not get there. So they live very much in the moment. So if they're behaving a little bit kind of um, frivolous, you want to pay attention to what they're doing. Um, because they, they're sort of a good indicator as to what what is happening. You could call them the barometer. Um, we've got playful energy coming in for you. So it's going to be a time to have fun. But I am jumping ahead to December again with that energy. This hermit here, I feel like, yeah, that's what we need to be doing between now and possibly mid-November. I feel they are saying the 11th of November. But I'm also jumping ahead to like the 27th. So we've got 11, we've got 27. Oh, seven of wands here. Yeah, this is a time for preparing for what is coming in for you. So ways that you can prepare yourself are doing exactly that sort of stocking things up, stockpiling things, saving up your money, um, not rushing to buy things that you don't really need. If you think, I need it, I need it, I need it. Think to yourself, can I manage without it? Because I will just get it in the new year. Can I wait until the new year? Um, so really try and put yourself off a little bit and put yourself in a saving and a, a kind of energy so you can keep yourself going. Because by the end of this year, you do have some lovely energies and big changes coming in for you. We've got a big um, influx of um, finances, big changes there. But right now, it's not a time to just take for granted everything that you have. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So, pile number two. I feel like you're quite a sensible pile. <laughs> this is this is quite a sensible energy for you. So, um, don't don't worry. Trust in the process. Try and go with the flow as much as you can, um, and listen to the advice from your guides. Okay, they know what they're talking about. So here we go. Thank you, pile two. Um, pile number three. What have we got for you? Oh, wow. Okay, so you have Keepers of the Earth. You are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. Look at the wonderful image on that. Out of all the piles, I feel like you are the ones that you really needed to see this image. So kind of get that into your brain there. Um, and, uh, you know, take a screenshot if you need to. So... Every time you are feeling a little bit low or you feel like things aren't worth it, remember this image, okay? I can see, gosh, I think this is a, where is that? It keeps changing. I thought it was a cat and then I looked again and I thought, no, that's some sort of, um, Almost like a, a, a like a, a llama, and then on the other side here, I thought, oh my gosh, that looks like a dinosaur of some type. Um, there's a lot of animals here on on this card. You are definitely about the bigger picture. You are not just about you. <laughs> <laughs> so you do consider the wider impact. So let's see what the rest of the year is shaping up like for you. Um, what kind of messages, advice, guidances, what kind of things have we got here for you? So, oh look, <laughs> the world, literally it's the same sort of thing here. So with the world, I think every single pile has had the world so far. Because that is about endings, it's about beginnings. So we have situations coming to a close here for you. I feel like you have kind of finished rounding out some uh, relationships, some situations with, uh, could be neighbours, could be friends here. But it's like there was unfinished business and now, you know, that, need, that needed settling, that needed taken care of. We've also got here two of cups energy. So we do have somebody appearing in your life that you are very, very attracted to. Um, let's 
It does come out with the Aries energy, that one, but we'll we'll see if we can hold it. And then there is Aries. <laughs> <laughs> double Aries so Aries is the, the sign that sort of takes a bit of a chance from time to time they can seem to be very spontaneous however they have thought about everything um, on a very uh, you know in a lot of detail before they do it I think people think of Aries as being very brash and very kind of um, you know irresponsible perhaps but i think what it is is they're very quick thinkers so they can think through something and make choices as they're thinking so when it comes to the big reveal at the end it's like ah i already know what i'm doing whereas some other signs like earth energy signs they go they think very slowly about things they have to go through every single detail and nuance of a situation so to have this sort of spontaneity coming in for you is quite nice you know uh, because we can all be hit with these different energies from time to time um, so this particular um, energy here is going to help you do things quickly get things finished, get things accomplished, um, or get things going. It's very inspirational and it's very, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. It's very motivational. We've also got here the moon. So we've got water sign energy coming on through. We've got cancer in particular. Now, things are starting to come to light for you at the moment. Uh, we've got, see, mm, I'm just going to, I'm just going to clarify that because I mean said secretive energies here. Um, but I just want to clarify what that is. Oh, they want this one as well. Sorry, they want me to put all these cards out <laughs> before I clarify. I clarify the moon, please. Ah, indecision. Now, this could be about a person. It could be about where to go. Uh, what you're going to do next. Well, I feel like with that energy there, I'm jumping ahead to next year. Um, but because we're asking about this year and concentrating on this year, I understand now why they wanted the rest of the cards out first. Because this one, you're worrying about things that haven't come out yet, that haven't come towards you. So it's okay um, to put that to one side to keep that kind of a bit hidden at the moment. All right, You don't need to be thinking about next year's holiday just yet or what that person is doing and what that person might say, because ultimately it's not gonna impact you. It's not gonna affect you. Um, I do feel that for some of you here, you know, if you do find you're getting overtaken with worry, um, especially about what somebody else is up to, like and how somebody else is feeling, even if you think, but it, it's, it's about me, I wonder what they think about me and I worry what they're gonna say about me. Don't even go there, okay? Because, their influence doesn't matter. Ultimately, people will take you for you. Um, they're not going to be worrying about what somebody else says or, or thinks about you. We do have love coming your way here. I think before the end of the year is out, we've got the Knight of Cups. Somebody is definitely approaching you here. If you haven't met them just yet, don't worry. Um, some of you could well have met this person already. We've got Taurus Energy. We do have Aries again quite strongly. We've got Sagittarius also. We do have things starting to open up for you and move very quickly. Um, that's why we have this energy up here because you're gonna be, uh, you can have quite tight deadlines on things by which you need to get them done by. Like if you don't take action, then you're gonna miss out. So it's all go, 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 go for you. Um, we've got here, Oh, so we do, we do have that, that page of cups and the, the knave of cups, sorry, the knight of cups and the knave of, of cups. Those are both about love. One is very social, so expect to be invited out. But I feel like with that one, you're not really interested. Don't really want to go. It's like a lot of effort, you know, going to meet that person. Because I feel like you have to travel um, quite a ways to get there. Um we do have for you here as well de a slight delay, a slight delay on something. Um, let me just see if, what they can say here. Now, I do feel like this is in the run-up to Christmas here. 
Oh, okay. So I would say with this one, when you're ordering online, prepare that things may not turn up um, in in time, or it's going to be very rushed. It's going to be very sort of last minute. That's again, this energy up here is going to help you because it's going to help you figure out how to problem solve this. Um, so if you're going to order things online, I would say start doing it now if you can so that you're not then down to the wire and kind of last minute dot com sort of energy do you know what i mean <laughs> so plan now i feel like if you can get a lot of your things uh done and tied up and finished during the rest of october and into november november is action energy for you and then december it seems to sort of wind down a little bit it seems to slow down so anything that you need to get going and get working on do it now and be prepared that in december things are going to start to go a little bit slower for you so if you're thinking of doing an etsy store if you're thinking of adding in you know some car boot sales or you want to do some uh, you know you think oh we'll do that in december or i have time to do that in december this is kind of saying you won't you better get on it now and you better get dealing with it now okay um, and then be prepared to just kind of have it take it easy in December. Um, so I will leave that with you. I'm not, oh, I will just say, I won't, it doesn't mean you're not going to be doing anything at all in December. It just means things will be tougher. They will get harder to do. Whereas November looks like it's going to flow nice and quick. And as long as you're quick, things will flow quickly. Um, so yeah, pile three, thank you very much. I will leave that with you, my darlings. Have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you next time.